shoe star goddess i'm back it is very close to christmas time i just thought i'd pop in and come to you guys and say hey what's up i have a little video for you um this is not my good camera yet i'm using a makeshift camera but i had to come to you guys today to tell you that sometimes it's time to let go okay you might have been working on a relationship for years and years and it hasn't gotten you anywhere and it's you know has not benefited you in any way it has not benefited you or your kids or your um, life or your feelings or your spirit it hasn't done anything for you but bring you pain okay just because you've been with someone for years and put a lot of effort into something does not mean that's where you're supposed to stay. It means either A, you don't understand that this is not working, or B, you are clinically insane because when you repeat something over and over and get the same results and, it's, you, know, and you don't change, that's the definition of insanity. So if you've been with someone for a long time, and they keep doing the same thing over and over and you expect something different but never get anything different but you stay you know that's up to you but you cannot change people they have to change themselves first of all you cannot change people and people will not change for you unless they love you enough to improve themselves if you don't make a man or a woman want to improve they don't love you okay if you don't make a man want to do better he doesn't love you enough you're settling he is settling okay if your man does not look at you or your you and your kids and say hey i have to do better and goes and do better he settled for you okay he doesn't truly love you enough to change the way that he uh does for you or lack of you know lacks of you you know uh, a lot of men have their hand out men will not change they settled for you you have taken um, everything that they have shown you and kept it and said okay this is my man and you've made excuses for them and now that's what you have you have a man that doesn't do anything for you and who won't change for you because they never ever intended on changing for you in the first place because they settled for you okay uh same with women men if you have a woman and she uh she's basically settled for you she's not going to do all those things that your dream woman is supposed to do or gonna do because she settled for you and she felt like she could have done better so she doesn't have to do as much for you you know you know what i'm saying so if you're ex if you're expecting you know major changes out of someone Either A, you have to change yourself first so that you are the person that they truly want or become the person that they truly thought you could be, live up to your potential or past your potential. Otherwise, why should they change if you're not, you know what I'm saying? So, women, if you have a man that's not going to change, um, try to do something like if you want your man to change, you have to change first because once you change they either feel like they have to change in order to keep up with you or they go and find something more on their level okay so ladies if you're changing if you're getting better if you're making more money if you're uh looking better taking better care of yourself and they are not you have to understand you know sometimes you gotta let people go out of your life because they can't grow with you and, and when someone can't grow with you um it's frustrating and you, and you get stuck and you're not going to grow as fast or as abundant as you could either alone or with someone better okay same for guys if you're with a woman who's not doing anything for you um uh, she's not living up to the expectations that you thought she should live up to she's not improving you making you want to go out there and do better and do bigger things if she's discouraging if she's not trying to uh, you know tell you encouraging words to keep you focused on what you need to be doing out there but if she's always putting you down or you know yelling at you because this this and that if she's always nagging you if she always has an opinion about something um that she has not contributed to then that might not be the one for you you know if they cheat on you you know don't take it personal it's not anything personal 
basically they just found someone else more on their level okay it could be lower or higher or the same level but basically people grow apart and you just have to accept that you know holidays are coming up new year's is coming up it's the end of the year people have grown people have changed it's time to either move on move forward or get it right you know what i'm saying if you can't get it right move on you know there's no sense in staying in something that no one can grow in and everyone's frustrated and you're at a standstill in life this is where a lot of people start having issues when their relationship starts having issues Every other area in their life starts going down. Work. Because you can't think about anything else. Oh, my, my relationship sucks and I can't concentrate on my work and blah, blah, blah. You know, then you're, you know, you're stressed out. You, you worry about other things. You know, a lot of things start going downhill when you're not happy. So, it's best to end things, start over, and, you know, find someone you can grow with or who wants to become or who already is, I always say, don't fall in love with potential. You know, fall in love with something that's tangible, that already is. A lot of men will get mad at me and say, well, why don't you want to build? And I'm not a man, I'm not supposed to build. That's your job. I'm supposed to nurture and make the home you're supposed to build, okay? If I was a man, I would be building. I'm not a man, okay? If I was, I wouldn't need you, okay? Except to make a child. Think about it, you know? You can't be in a woman's life if they don't really need you. Otherwise, you're just a child or another burden to them, okay? It's vice versa for men. Men need to feel needed. Men need to feel useful. Men need to feel like women honor them and um, look up to them and praise them and think of them as, you know, their, their hero or whatever, okay? No one wants a roommate, or a son, okay? Women don't like that. Otherwise, your woman's going to be telling you what to do, nagging you all the time, just like a child, if you guys are on the same, you know, we're the same, we're equal, we're building together. Well, partners in, you know, uh, an architectural firm, you know, they're building together. They both get the, the same pay. One doesn't have to watch children or pick up children. They both have to do the same exact things. If your wife is your partner, and she's doing all the, the, the homework, children, you know, grocery, cooking, and stuff like that, and you're just going to work, that's uneven, okay, and no woman is going to look up to any man who also wants her to work on top of that, okay, so you're not building together, you're building, or you should already have something built, then bring your wife into the situation, okay, or your, your woman, or whatever, okay, if you don't have anything built, the woman has nothing to, to uh, improve, you know what I'm saying? And if she already has a house or something built, the only thing she needs you for is emotional um, support and, you know, sex and uh, to make a child. But after she has all those things and she no longer needs that, then what? You know what I'm saying? Then, then you become her other child. So this is why uh, it's important for men to always have more and to already have something you know, a lot of men will say, well, what do you bring to the table? The woman is the table, darling, okay? Without this, men would not have a need to work other than room, board, shelter, and, you know, prostitutes, <laughs> okay? That, that's all they would need to work for, okay? And men get tired of that after a certain age, okay? When they start to go bald, look ugly, no one else wants them except the prostitutes they have to pay. Either way, they're still going to have to come out of their pocket for a woman you know what I'm saying um, the thing is men you know they have to stay within their reach of a woman like you can't expect some beautiful flawless woman if your bank account is not flawless okay or if you're not flawless okay even a beautiful woman won't be with a beautiful flawless man if he's broke okay this is not gonna happen they would rather be with some ugly fat dude who has a nice bank account than a flawless supermodel man okay that's just reality because why women like comfort that's true you know just like men aren't going to be with the ugliest woman you ever ever seen in your life because she brings things to the table they're not going to take her in public they're not going to do anything that like that with her why because men are visual creatures okay it's very superficial 
we are on earth the earth is a superficial material existence okay if you're trying to go deeper than that that's fine but in reality when you're ashamed to take your woman out or when you're ashamed to uh to, to tell your mom what your man got you for christmas because it was from the dollar tree then there's a problem then you want him to change then you're nagging then you want her to be better then you want him to be better why don't you just go for what you want in the first place and stop lying to yourselves all men want a beautiful woman who is going to be there for them love them honor them respect them and all women want comfort a man who they can look up to who can provide and protect for them stop lying to yourself you don't want an equal partner because if men had an equal partner they won't feel like men if women had an equal partner they won't feel like a wife or a woman. They will feel like a mother, okay? So y'all have to stop with this BS. It's not ever, 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 ever going to work out to the, to the point where it's a wonderful relationship, okay? If, if both of you guys are working towards it, y'all are both paying bills, that's fine. But one has to make way more than the other. You know, one has to be the, the, uh, the breadwinner. One has to be like the dominant, uh, financial supporter. You know what I mean? Because that's how women and children feel safe. If a man can't secure the home, the woman doesn't feel safe. You know, she doesn't feel protected. She can't sleep at night if she's worrying about how bills are going to be paid. You know, she doesn't want to sleep with you if she has to worry about is the rent getting paid. How, how can that turn a woman on? You know, oh, is the rent getting paid? Oh, yeah, let's have sex. No, okay? Women like comfort, okay? And if you can't provide comfort, if you're talking about building up this kingdom, kings don't need a queen to build up. They already have a kingdom, okay? And queens are not supposed to work, if that's going to be your next, you know, comment in the thing. No, you already have to have it. If a woman is, you know, respected enough to to be able to share your throne that's fine but like i said a queen does not need a king and a king does not need a queen because they already have their kingdoms or queendoms okay whatever so what you want is a wife and a husband if you're a girl you want a husband if you're a man you want a wife now to those who don't want to marry at all, who just want to travel and live life, be free, great, you know what, more power to you, there are so many people that wish they could have done that, okay, so if that is your dream, don't feel pressure to get married and have kids, go do you, have fun, okay, but if you guys are writing to people and inboxing people and, uh, you know, trying to get dates and stuff like that and are mad and frustrated and taking it out on the opposite sex, it's only because you are aiming either too high or too low and you don't and you're being false about what you really want okay being false about what you really want you know there's millions of women out there who are good women as men would describe them but they don't look the part okay there's many rich men out there you know that will take care of a woman in a second but many women they're, 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 you know, they're not thinking about that. They're thinking about, oh, true love, and I don't feel butterflies. You know what? If you feel butterflies for a man, that's the wrong man. He's supposed to feel butterflies for you, okay? Otherwise, you'll always be chasing him, and your relationship will be off balanced, okay? If you guys feel the same way about each other, think about this. One could fall out of love. One could grow bored. And then who is going to feel this way about you know, the other person. It's always best for the woman to get a man who is head over heels, obsessed almost. That is going to be the successful marriage that you want, that the man is going to basically do whatever you want. Okay? If you're a man, if you have a woman that's totally obsessed with you and will do whatever, that's going to be your good relationship. But remember, women grow and women change with childbirth. So you also have to keep that into consideration, you know. Not, I mean, their mind, body, spirit, everything changes after children, okay? Most of them. I'm going to say all, but a lot of women will change, you know? So you also have to keep that in, in your mind. The baby will become the priority, not 
after you, after you have a kid, the child is now the priority, you know, for the most part, unless the girl only had the child to keep you. Then sadly, those babies are often neglected or used to hang child support over your head to keep you in a relationship, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, make a long story short, only get women who are head over heels for you, um, men, who you don't see changing drastically in the future. Women get men, I mean, get men that are head over heels for you, that worship you, so that when you are in a marriage and you are 10 years into a marriage, 15 years into a marriage, he's still worshiping you, okay? Get that type of man, because once they get this vision of you in, your, in their mind and how great you are, that is the vision they will always see of you. That's how they will always think of you, okay? So don't let these uh, these guys tell you in the comments, oh, when you get old and da 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 they're going to cheat on you, blah, 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 blah. Men get old too, y'all. Mm -hmm. And some of them go bald. And some of them get the turkey neck. Some of them, you know, they get the, they just, they don't look good anymore. Uh, there's women, you know, women, same thing. Sometimes women age bad. But for the most part, you know, they take care of themselves. So don't let the age thing fool you because you can always get a man who's older than you. Just like you can always get a woman who's younger than you. You know what I'm saying? So if you think about it, if you're going for a younger, more beautiful woman, they're not going to have anything to bring you to the table either. Okay, men? And ladies, if you're going for an older man, they're not going to have to live up to their potential because they're already there. Okay? I'm just putting it out there. There's a lot of women... You know, they're confused. They're, you know, love is not going to pay the bills at the end of the day. You know, financial abundance is, responsibility is, being a good provider is, you know. Love comes with that. If, if someone took care of you, think about it. What does your father and your mother do? They take care of you. They provide for you. They made sure you were safe. They cared for you. They loved you. They gave you attention. That is what creates love. It's not something that you get from sex. It's not something that you see um, like on a movie and you lock eyes and say, oh, I'm in love. No, love is taking care of that other person and showing them how important they are. Actions. Okay, love is not something you feel like butterflies. That's called infatuation. Lust. You know, intrigue. Love is some something... You know, someone you would die for. You know, someone you can take care of. Someone you don't mind spending money on because you want to. So y'all get that through your heads. Just because someone says the word love, unless they're showing you actions of love, that's not love. That's a word. Okay, y'all? I'm going to repeat that. Just because someone says, I love you, I still love you, I love you still, does not show love. You know what I'm saying? It's not showing you anything. Okay? It's a word. If you can't be shown love, then that is not love. Okay? I'm out. I'll see y'all probably after the holidays. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all